Well, first of all, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Really appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank I must you. be the hundredth person here who said congratulations <laughs> to you for winning the, uh, the medal. Uh, what did it feel like to you when, you when you got the original phone call that said, yes, that's your prize this year? Oh, wow. That was a uh, huge emotion. I didn't believe it. I mean, I was like, uh, it must be a mistake. They're going to tell me that, this, that they called the wrong person. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It took me some time to realize and I think to process. And still, I think until a few days ago, I was not even sure what it meant because since you have to keep it secret, uh, I'm a bit uh, un under a lot of pressure, <laughs> but also it's, uh, it gives me motivation, you know, for the future. I think uh, you have to take it in. A, you have to try to take it in the right way. Absolutely. Now, what is what work is it of yours that was recognised with the Fields Medal? Well, there have been several things in general because I have several interests in the broad field of analysis. Uh, of course, optimal transport has always been one of my main focuses, in particular, how optimal transport can be applied to other areas of mathematics. I applied it, uh, for instance, to study superimetric inequalities. So these are inequalities that arise in many geometrical phenomena, but also to model crystals, to model soap bubbles. Um, so really, their optimal transport was a key tool to understand something that people wondered for a while, which was kind of how these inequalities are stable. And also, uh, there have been a lot of results related to partial differential equations, motion pair equation. This is an equation, again, arising from optimal transport, which then uh, appears in many problems in analysis, geometry. And one of the applications concrete was to the semi-geostrophic equations. So these are equations coming from meteorology. But motion pair is more than that. It's really a very powerful equation that mathematicians studied for more than 150 years. Uh, these are among the most important results for which I've been recognized. Absolutely. And you're giving the uh, lecture today, the yeah. Fields Medal Lecture. What are you going to be talking about in your lecture? I thought that for this lecture, I wanted to give people a kind of idea of what I'm doing now rather than just talking about past. It's also nice to talk about present and future. Sure. So I have decided to focus on um, my current era of research. Uh, let's say one of my main area of research right now, which is free boundary problems. So these are problems, very classical problems, that uh, want to study interfaces uh, in, for instance, phase transition. So a classical example is ice melting to water. You have the interface separating ice and water, and you want to understand how this interface changes in time. In fact, this problem is also modeling elastic membranes that uh, maybe are in contact with an object, and this object is deforming the elastic membrane, and you want to understand uh, how the, elastic, the presence of this object is going to change the shape of the elastic membrane. From the description, these are completely different problems, right? You have ice on one side, you have membrane on the other, but mathematically they are really the same. It's the same kind of equations that you have to study. And I think now, because of several developments in other fields of mathematics, uh, I think in particular, I'm thinking about uh, geometric measure theory and minimal surfaces, uh, we have been recently able to import a lot of these techniques and mix it with other areas in order to uh, really progress in this direction of free boundaries. And I think there is a lot of momentum to keep producing uh, uh, very interesting results for the next few years. Do you think having won the uh, Fields Medal, that's going to give you even more momentum in uh, moving forward? Or as you say, will you just continue to do your best? Uh, I will try to just keep doing what I've been doing up to now, which is you know, focus on my research, do the best I can. Uh, of course, um, with the Fields Medal, uh, I already received, uh, I don't know, many invitations uh, in the last 24 hours. Uh, so I will need to find a balance between uh, um, the research I've been doing up to now and a bit also the role of um, ambassador of mathematics, especially in um, the country where I work, which is Switzerland, uh, in the worldwide community and also for my country of origin, Italy, because, you know, uh, it's a very delicate period, I think, now for research and, and mathematics in general. Uh, countries are experiencing a very delicate political situation, and uh, usually pure research, like mathematics, is not the focus of po politicians anymore. And uh, we have to defend this. We have to defend ourselves, our community, because uh, otherwise, uh, if there is no more financing, uh, this will be a big problem for us. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to uh, talk to us today. Very appreciate it, and once again, congratulations. Thank you so much. 
ICM TV is brought to you from the 2018 International Congress of Mathematicians in Brazil. So for more like this, click on some of these great videos and don't forget to subscribe for more from the best in science, from everything from mathematics to physics, geophysics and engineering.